For the final topic related to CRUD operations, let's take a look at performing optimistic updates with the use optimistic hook. Use optimistic is a React hook. It provides a way to optimistically update the UI while an asynchronous action is underway. This technique helps make our apps feel more responsive, especially when working with forms. Instead of making users wait for server responses, we can show them the expected result right away. Let me show you how this works with some code. For our example, when the user clicks on a delete button, instead of the 1.5 second delay to show the deletion, we will remove the product right away from the list. To achieve that, first we import use optimistic hook from React in our products db page.tsx file. Import use optimistic from React. Invoke it within the component after the data has been fetched. Use optimistic. Now the hook takes two parameters. The first parameter is the initial state that you want to optimistically update. This is our list of products fetched from the database. The second parameter is a function that determines how to update the state optimistically. This function takes two arguments, the current state, which we will call current products, and an additional argument to help create the new state. For our scenario, the additional argument is the product ID, which corresponds to the product we want to delete. The function filters the current products array to exclude the product with the given ID. So current products dot filter product such that product dot ID is not equal to product ID. This is just simple JavaScript, nothing specific to React or Next.js. It is important that we return this updated list as our optimistic state. Now, what does this use optimistic hook return? Two things. First is the resulting optimistic state, which we will call optimistic products. This is the array we will show to the user. Second is a function to trigger the optimistic update. The function takes one argument of any type and will call the update function that we have defined as the second argument to use optimistic. So how do we make use of these two values? First, instead of iterating over the list of products from the database, we will iterate over the list of optimistic products, which is managed by the use optimistic hook. Second, we create an async function, remove product by ID, that takes a product ID of type number and handles our delete server action. So await, remove product, passing in product ID. Before calling the server action though, we trigger our optimistic update. So set optimistic products, passing in product ID. This immediately shows the user their changes while the actual deletion happens in the background. Now on the form element to the action attribute, we invoke the new function, remove product by ID, binding the product ID. So dot bind null comma product dot ID. This value is the product ID that the function receives. That was a lot to take in, so let's go over the flow of the use optimistic hook one more time. We invoke the hook with the current state and a function returning the optimistic state. The optimistic state is available as the first return value, which we use to render the list of products. We use the second return value, the setter function, to call the update function and execute a logic to return the new state. This setter function runs right before the server action. Users always see the optimistic state while the actual operation completes in the background. If we save the file, we will see an error because we are using a hook in a server component. The solution, we will need to separate our data fetching from our data mutation logic, similar to what we did with our update operation earlier. So alongside your page.tsx, create a new file, product-detail.tsx. Copy the entire code from page.tsx and paste it into this new file. Rename the component to product detail. Product detail becomes a client component handling the mutations and optimistic updates. Add the use client directive at the top, remove async keyword, and also the data fetching code. It will receive data from the parent server component instead. So we specify products of type product. 
I will also make this a named export. Perfect. The page.tsx file will now be a server component in charge of only data fetching. Let's delete the unwanted code. Use optimistic, remove product, and the link component can be deleted. Instead, import the newly created product detail component. So import product detail from dot slash product detail. For the component, we will still fetch our products from the database and then return the same component, passing in the list of products as a prop. Save both the files and try it out in the browser. I want you to observe what happens when we click the delete button. So test product one, delete, and the product disappears instantly while the actual deletion completes in the background after 1.5 seconds. But your users get that smooth, responsive experience they love. So delete, it's removed right away, and the delete operation completes in the background. That wraps up our look at CRUD operations with server components and server actions in the app router. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.